I wanted to take just a minute to talk about why I choose some of the foods that I choose in the grocery store. For example, potatoes. Now there's a lot of different potatoes in the grocery store and I usually have some frozen hash brown potatoes and french fries in my freezer as well. On a day-to-day -day basis, if I'm going to eat potatoes, I try to eat whole food potatoes. Specifically, I try to choose potatoes that have a variety of colors. I eat sweet potatoes. I do keep russet potatoes on the, in the house because my daughter absolutely loves them. But my favorite potatoes to have are little potatoes. Specifically, I like the ones that come with multicolor. When eating plant foods, having a variety of colors in your diet means you're getting a variety of nutrients and antioxidants. So for me, having a bowl that has a few purple potatoes and gold potatoes and red potatoes tells me that I'm getting several different antioxidants and nutrients in that meal. Another example of little changes that I make in my pantry and in my kitchen is nut butters. I tend to buy nut butters that don't have added sugar. This one doesn't have anything, it's just 100% peanuts. And I love both of these. They don't have as much flavor as a sweetened and salted peanut butter, but that's okay because I have a secret to making them taste good. Sugar, salt. It's okay to add some sugar and some salt to your foods, but I've noticed when I buy heavily processed foods, the amount of sugar and salt that is in them is just bonkers. And when you start to focus on more whole foods in your diet and you naturally reduce those salts and sugars, it becomes very, very noticeable. So when I can, I prefer to buy unsweetened and unsalted nut butters and things like that. And then I can add my own salt. I can add my own sugar, but still be more aware of what's going into my meals and into my body. I do also have things like Nutella in my house. My kids like Nutella. My son specifically likes to have Nutella on some good seeded bread that's high in protein and fiber and omega-3s. I'm all for that. If you are really concerned about the sugar content, there are other options such as this one. My daughter likes to call this knockoff Nutella. It's a knockoff Nutella here. But it's actually really, really tasty and it has about half the sugar and more protein than the old fashioned Nutella. Buy whichever one you like, buy both if you can. I really do tend to mix Fonza with standard enriched wheat pasta. And there's a good reason for that. I love Bonza, I think it's an amazing product, but I also have neurodivergent people in my house, myself included, and we are very particular about texture. My solution was actually really simple and it saved me a little money. I do half enriched wheat pasta and half chickpea pasta. That way I'm still getting fiber and protein and all of the goodness from the chickpea pasta but it's an enjoyable meal that my kids will actually eat. My hope for these videos is to offer a friendly reminder that healthy choices do not require perfection. Even in an old kitchen, even with less than perfect foods, you can make good choices for yourself and the people that you love. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more easy, healthy ideas.